We'll first put it on a little test block that I made. Oh, oh dear. What is that noise? Most recently, my videos for slot cars have been based on the Aurora AFX cars. Those are the ones that uh, I first learned what a slot car was, kind of grew up with, with them, and then kind of faded away from the hobby. As time went by, I thought, let's dig out a few of those. Let's start collecting some of those again. And uh, I would then find that many of the cars were produced after I had left. So one of those I have here now. It's something I really didn't know that much about, but we're gonna look into one. So one of the cars that Aurora produced that I didn't know about was the uh, AFX Magna Traction Magnasonic car. It appears that it's got some sort of a instrument on the top that makes noise. Uh, this particular chassis came from my uh, parts stash that was uh, given to me. Um, it's not quite complete. It does not have any pickup shoes on the bottom or springs. Uh, the uh, rear wheels are the turbine wheels and the front are the typical mag wheels. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what we can do with it. We'll first put it on a little test block that I made. Oh, oh dear. What is that noise? Well, you know, there's probably a lot of work to be done there. Stick around, we'll see if we can make it a much better slot car. All right, so it does appear that this uh, noise box, yeah, noise box, uh, on top, clips on, much like the uh, typical gear plate clamp does. Pop it off carefully, I know. Uh, gotta be careful of these things, they are 50 years old. It would appear that these uh, rotating uh, ramps in that gear hit on the underside of uh, this, uh, I don't know, percussion instrument, drum? Uh, we'll kind of poke around, see what it is. So when we take it apart, it's just like your normal Magna Traction chassis. Nothing special there. The motor plate, gear gear plate, needs some cleaning, should be fine. Your typical uh, red and white magnets, two brushes, should be two springs, but uh, you know what? One of them decided to take a flyer. And uh, going back to this uh, noisemaker on top, how I said, hey, it's 50 years old, be careful, don't break anything. Yep, I broke off one of these tabs. Uh, Hoping it'll still work fine. We'll find out though. So in order to refurbish this chassis, I had to go to my uh, parts stash. Uh, pretty lucky to have uh, a whole bunch of different parts that I've collected across the years. Just, just stuff, you know? Um, sometimes you just buy parts, junk parts. So someday you're gonna need those. Let's put it on here and see what happens. Apparently nothing. I'm pretty lucky to have collected all those parts. Um, you know, I usually have a uh, new old stock. Well, not new. I usually have old stock shoes that I can use, springs. Uh, I have been buying some new uh, springs for the brushes, new springs for the shoes, uh, new tires. Put this on here and see what it does. Oh, my. All right, so we've moved to the test track. I think it's about set to, to go. You know, uh, something I always use is I really like these old controllers. Uh, I was buying them up uh, across the years. It, they fit my hand. It seems to make the cars run pretty good. All right, let's take it for a few laps. Uh, this car does have some uh, new silicone tires for the rear. I don't know, I think I'm pretty pleased. Uh, Another nice car from the uh, parts stash.
So this is an AFX Magna Fraction with the Magnasonic uh, noise box on top. I'm sure many parents back in the uh, middle 70s just loved this one.